And welcome to Sports Spectrum, everyone. Today, we're pleased to be joined by Mallory Pugh, uh, forward with the U U.S. Women's National Soccer Team, also with the Chicago Red Stars of the NWSL. Mallory, thank you for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. This is super it's, exciting. It's, it's great to have you on, especially because we've had your fiance on a couple of times yes. on this podcast. <laughs> your your fiance is Danby, Dansby Swanson, uh, shortstop mm -hmm. for the Atlanta Braves, you guys got engaged uh, this past December, correct? Yep, this past December. Uh, congratulations. Um, Thank you. The, the World Series champion Braves. Um, I saw that you were actually able to be there for, for the World Series. You, you were there when, when the Braves clinched. Um, take me back to that. I'd, I'd love to be at a World Series clinching game. <laughs> uh, what was that like for you? What was that experience like for you? Yeah, I mean, it was... I we I mean we look back at it now and like I can't believe it and I think that I'll like be scrolling through my phone and like see pictures from it and I just like get so proud um I'm just like so proud of him and what that team accomplished and I mean it was a very stressful time <clears throat> I was like in the middle of like my playoffs um and then he was in his playoffs in the world series. And so I was really trying to balance like everything. I was like, yeah, it was like, it was so stressful. I've never been under that much stress between travel back and forth from Chicago to Atlanta to Houston. And then I think too, like the stress of like the actual game. Mm -hmm. um, now I like understand like what my parents have gone through my whole life <laughs> watching, um, watching me play because I feel like that part is by far the hardest of it all. Yeah. Yeah. Probably more stressful on you than it is on him. I mean, he's in his comfort zone. Oh, yeah. Right? And yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm like, I can't do anything to help you. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to know how did, uh, how did you and Dansby meet? <laughs> um, so my brother-in-law, um, he played for the Braves. I want to say maybe like five years ago. Okay. And then, um, so him and Dansby, his name is Jace Peterson. They were really good friends. And so Dansby and I, it was my rookie year in Washington, D.C. And one of my teammates, Shana, she went to Vandy with Dansby. So um, she was like, yeah, your brother-in-law plays for the Braves. Like we should go to a Braves Nationals game. Hmm. So we went to the game <clears throat> and then I met Dansby after the game didn't really like think anything of it um and then <laughs> and then he like fast fast forward like four months or whatever he was at my sister's wedding and then okay. yeah so at my sister's wedding we like kind of hit it off but the first time we actually like met each other was like four months prior um gotcha. after one of his games awesome very cool very cool yeah. is that Shana Matthews yes, yes. okay She's married to uh, Jordan Matthews, an NFL yep. player. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, well, so it was actually a post uh, that I saw from you on Instagram um, mm -hmm. right after the World Series that really, that, that made me stop and say like, man, we got to talk to Mallory. Um, this, this, <laughs> this was before you got engaged, uh, but before he proposed to you, but, but um, right after the World Series, this is, this is what you wrote. It was about as a picture of Dansby um, mm -hmm. and some pictures of you guys <laughs> with, together and said, this man right here, he inspires me every day. Yeah, he's a great baseball player, but if anyone knows him, he's an even better person. He helps me live out my faith in Jesus. God's plan for him hasn't been easy. This game of baseball has driven him crazy at times, but one thing that he always goes back to is our Savior. It's the faith and trust in God during trials and a season that most people don't see. It's becoming the man that God made him to be. And finally, it's him giving God, giving all the glory to God. I love that. I love that um, because one, you're a professional athlete. You see there, there, are, there are many sides of athletes that, you know, the general public doesn't see. And you have that, but you also see that with, with Dansby. Um, mm -hmm. and, and you're right, Dansby was often quick to give, to give glory to God. Um, but I want to go back to one thing that you said there about him helping you live out your faith in Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you explain what you meant by that? Yeah, so I remember, um, so like when Dansby and I first started dating, I like told him, I was like, listen, like, if we're going to be at like a thing and we're going to like have a future together, like Jesus and God is like, that's, that is like our foundation. Um, 
And I think it's just, I look back at like the past four and a half years and it's just, it's amazing how much like growth that we both have had in our faith. Um, he, I know I've helped him and he's helped me. And yeah, I think it's just, it is like truly amazing just like seeing Jesus work in both of our lives. And, um, and like, I, I'm just excited to like continue to see what the Lord has for both of us individually. And then I think together too. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So that's, that's what we love here at Sports Spectrum, um, you know, where we're sports and faith connect. So I, I'd love to hear more about your faith journey. Like, where did that begin for you? Um, can you keep, kind of take us through how you came to faith in Christ? Yeah, so I like always grew up. Um, I grew up in the church. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people that I like, listen to like their testimonies, it's kind of like everyone's is like the same. Um, but yeah, I grew up in the church. Um, went to church every Sunday, or if I didn't have soccer, we would go to church. But, um, and then when I left, so I've always had like a background, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say like I had like a true relationship that I have now with God. Um, and so when I was deciding or on whether or not I'm going to go to UCLA, or go professional or stay at UCLA or, or go professional I I feel like that was really a time where I like that was like kind of what kicked it off um I like really gave it all to God um I was in LA with one of my best friends Annika and she she was really the one person that like helped me um make that like big life decision and um, I look up to her too, because she is, um, she's just like a follower, follower of Christ and, um, the way she lives her life. And even now I look up to her just with little things. Um, but yeah, so she, uh, we would go to church in LA and then, um, so that kind of like kickstarted it. And then, I don't know, I look through, I look back and I feel like it just, was kind of like, kind of like a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. It kind of just like took off. And then I think really, uh, well at the fall in the fall of 2020, um, I got baptized and I mean, yeah, that was, um, I got baptized in Atlanta and that was obviously just like a symbol of like outwardly showing mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that looking back at it all I'm like it just like the steps and like the growth that I've had um is really amazing and then yeah so in 2020 I got baptized and then last year I think last year was probably the biggest year um that I've had like the most like spiritual growth um so last year at the beginning of the year I was I got injured at national mm -hmm. team camp and which was very devastating because the Olympics were coming up mm -hmm. and then kind of like healed the injury a little bit. And then I went back into national team camp and hurt the same thing. Um, but this time it was like much worse. So really at that point, like the Olympics were kind of like out of my reach. Mm -hmm. Um, it would have had to be like a miracle. And then mm -hmm. I just remember like, asking God, I was like, why, like, why is this happening? Um, I feel like you always ask why. And mm -hmm. I look back at it now and I'm like, I know exactly why it happened because my faith in him has like grown immensely. Um, and me getting injured and me missing the Olympics and me kind of like finding myself on the field again, Mm -hmm. really started because I like found myself in Christ even more mm -hmm. um and it was like through it's just funny because you you hear all the time it's like through the trials and tribulations you right. yeah have the most growth and it really is like so true um so yeah I yeah last year was like definitely the year that like I've had the most growth and like 
it was my it's been my favorite year of my life so far really um yeah for sure it, because I um the year started off so terrible and then I just really found my relationship with God and like re- it just like really took off and um there's just like not like I wouldn't want it any other way now and I can't yeah. see it any other way so mm-hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that that was one thing I wanted to ask you because I, I was I was um I saw another Instagram post that you that you had and and it was after mm-hmm. your NWSL season ended. Mm-hmm. And um <clears throat> you know, you said, well first of all, one thing you that that stood out was you, you said if I'm being completely honest at the beginning of the year, I didn't know if I was going to play the game that I loved again. Yeah. And so that was at the that, you know, you, you alluded to the tough year that that 2021 was. Um, Mm -hmm. but you got to the point where you almost thought you might not play soccer again. Yeah. Um, I just feel, I felt like I was like, I felt like almost like my identity was like so wrapped up in soccer. And then Mm -hmm. like when, when things are taken, when the game is like kind of taken away from you, you're like, okay, like you start questioning, you're like, am I actually supposed to be doing this? Um, and I feel like God he took that away from me so I could go find him Mm. um Mm. and that I could have a deeper relationship with him and that I could not live without him um so yeah there was definitely a time where I was like I I don't know if I am actually going to be doing this anymore but um yeah I think my faith and just truly truly trusting in God's plan. I think Dan's man, I's favorite verse is Proverbs three, five, mm-hmm. um, which everyone knows, but it's like the most simple, but <laughs> like prevalent and mm-hmm. you can't like, you can't live life without, without yeah. that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So I, I, I love hearing that because uh, you, you're right. I mean, a lot of times, you know, trials do draws closer to the Lord. And that's sometimes how God draws us closer to him is, is through trials. Um, I love that, that perspective that you have. So, so now I, I'm, I'm curious, like, what does, um, what does spiritual growth, I guess, look like for you, for you now? I mean, um, are there Bible studies within the NWSL that you can, you know, do with your team? Or are there things that you and Dansby do um, together as, as a couple? And, or, I mean, I know that there's, you know, some wives groups within Major League Baseball who um, they do Bible studies and, and stuff like that together. Like you could you could join in, in any of that. Uh, but what is what is in this stage of life? Like what does spiritual growth look like for you? Or how do you kind of grow in your relationship with the Lord now? Yeah, I think it's definitely through those trials. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing that I learned, I remember last year I like listened to a podcast and it. Um, it was Lauren Aikens. Um, she was talking about just like community and like mm. how important community is. Um, and I think too, another reason why like God was <laughs> like really testing me last year was like, I, I came to find like my community. Um, mm. And that was, and I've never had, I've never like truly had that. Um, in this game and we have in at Chicago we have a bible study group and our chaplain there is like absolutely amazing mm. um she is a rock star i love her so much but um so that that group really mm-hmm. helped me grow too um and then cuz i mean with that too there's like so many different people with um with their levels of their faith or whatever like some Mm -hmm. were just like curious about it Mm -hmm. so um yeah I I just like the group of girls that we had was just so amazing and then I still have that same group and it's um I think it just goes back to like the importance of like community and like how that can help grow your spiritual growth um spiritual growth and then yeah I think too Dansby and I I mean we started in 2019 doing stuff together with, Mm -hmm. um, his chaplain, Terry, and Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that, that really like helped 
both of us individually, but mm -hmm. I think too, that helped us, um, like as a couple. Yeah. And I think that, so doing stuff together too helps. And then I think too, I think for me, I like doing it, some stuff individually yeah. as well. So yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like it's all three of those. It might sound like a lot, but like, I can't see it really any other way. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. So, um, so now you are, um, your NWSL season will get going here, um, in full swing here pretty, pretty soon. Um, mm -hmm. back with the, the U S national team, um, this, this year, 2022 has started off, I guess, better than last year, at least for you on the, on the field. Um, yeah. I would, I would imagine that, you know, the world cup, the women's world cup is next summer. Um, going to be in 2023 and in Australia and New Zealand, I assume right now that's a goal of yours to put yourself in a position, do the, the best you can to make sure you're on that team. Yeah. So one thing I did learn was like through this whole like process, mm -hmm. um, of kind of like finding myself again on the field, but also like the spiritual growth that I've had was just like letting it let it letting God take it all yeah. letting him yeah. um take it all and whatever whatever he wants me to do like I'm gonna do um and I feel like that that can be hard sometimes because you might not necessarily want to do something um or you might want to do it a different way but I think that's where just the obedience and the faith has to come in um mm -hmm. to him and so yeah I feel like obviously goals are goals and but I'm really trying now just to like stay present um and present and where he has me um and where my feet are placed right now because I feel like I I'm like what what's what's my mission right now like how can I better serve you and better grow your mm -hmm. kingdom right now so yeah, that's great yeah. um so what's what's crazy to me is you are only 24 years old you are mm -hmm. um you, you've made over 70 appearances for the national team uh debuted at the net with the national team when you were 17 uh later that year played in the olympics uh then you debuted with the in, as a professional when you were when you were 19 you right you stayed at ucla for for a few months and then decided to go pro um mm -hmm. debut at, at 19 you play in the world cup at 21 years old um you're a veteran do you, do you feel do you feel like a veteran at 24 years old um kind of <laughs> like I don't know I I mean yeah I've been doing this for a while now um yeah. I've I have experience um mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I don't know I I also like I I feel like age is just a number you know right. and yeah um I think it really just comes down to experience and so I guess you could say with it with the experience that I have, you can say that I am a veteran, but I don't necessarily like look at myself as one. Yeah. Well, your, um, like I said, your season is, is about to kind of get into full, full swing. And obviously that's a, a huge priority of yours. Um, and <clears throat> again, you're, you're a, you're a baseball wife or well, a future <laughs> baseball wife. Um, dance, your seasons are basically the same time. Your, your mm -hmm. season is basically the same amount of time as as Dansby so I'm just curious yeah. to how what does that look like um how do you guys see each other um communicate how do you guys get together like what is your relationship like in the midst of your professional seasons yeah it's definitely crazy um mm -hmm. we live a crazy life but I'm very we're both very grateful that we get to live this life um yeah it's it's definitely um it's crazy and it's hard but yeah I I'm usually the one that has to do the traveling just because my my schedule is like a little bit more flexible mm -hmm. um I mean they play every single day and yeah. I mean most we train pretty much every single day but we only have a mm -hmm. game once a week okay so yeah um yeah usually we'll see each other like once a week or Okay. once every two weeks so it's really not that bad I'm the one that has to travel which is fine um it definitely gets tiring but yeah I, I figured out the system right now um <laughs> yeah but it is it's nice though because as 
we I mean we both we do both have the same season Mm -hmm. so then we have the same off season yeah Um, my stuff goes a little bit longer and starts a little bit earlier but um, I have some of my teammates and their significant others play in the NFL and Mm -hmm. they it's nice to have them too because it like we can like relate to each other but they like their seasons are separate but also Mm -hmm. they they don't get that much time like without sports together so um yeah but it's it's definitely like a balance but we I mean I feel like we figured it out by now um so yeah we'll see kind of what the future holds um yeah with baseball and soccer and stuff but again God has that all planned out yeah that's great that's awesome um (laughs) well uh Last question I want to ask you, um, and thank you again for your time, Mallory. Um, one that we ask a lot of our guests here on Sports Spectrum is just, you know, in this in this season of life that you're that you're in right now, there's a, there's a lot going on. You, you alluded to it. You know, there's crazy season or crazy schedule with with your mm-hmm. soccer season and Dansby's baseball season. Um, a lot going on. But what is it that you feel? Like, what is the Lord teaching you? What what is it that you feel God is teaching you? right now in this in this season that you're at I know he taught you a lot last year with the, the yeah. trials that you faced last year um but where you're at right now um almost midway through 2022 what do you feel like God's teaching you right now oh yeah that's a great question um I feel like every day I I really um ask him I'm like what is my purpose because I know it's I know it's more than just being a soccer player um so I, I, I feel like right now I'm just kind of asking for clarity, um, mm-hmm. from him and clarity on where, like where it is and what, what it is that he sees me doing and like what exactly my purpose is. I think that can be definitely a difficult question. And I feel like a lot of people battle with that. Um, and then I also think that he's teaching me just to be present. Mm-hmm. Um, I think oftentimes, I mean, we have a wedding coming up at the end of the year. Um, and so it can be, e- it's easy to like really look forward to that, but life is right now. Um, mm-hmm. Life is going on right now. So I feel like he, he's teaching me just to be present in the moment right now and um, be exactly where he like has placed me and continue to grow in him, continue to have faith in him. Um, and grow his kingdom, whether that be to my teammates or strangers on the side of the road or my family or my friends. Um, so yeah, I think, I think it is right now just being present and finding joy and, um, and where he has placed my feet right now. Love that. That's great. So is it, can I ask, do you have a, do you have a wedding date? we do have a wedding date it's in december that okay. was literally like the only time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we had yeah and i was like you know what this is god wants this date and i love the date. i think it's a great date but yeah um december 10th so okay well yeah. congratulations uh, unfortunately if you wanted a summer wedding that's just probably not going to happen right i know <laughs> i know and there's so many weddings happening right now it's awesome but um so i feel like i feel like it worked out great yeah, because both yeah. both of us will be done the only thing that will be going on is the world cup the men's yeah. world cup so which yeah. is like gonna be super exciting yeah well again thank you mallory for joining us this has been great um thank you for taking your time uh in your busy schedule to to do this we appreciate it and just wish you nothing but but the best in your season your career your future with with dan's b all of that um again thank you just for taking some time to join us today of course thank you so much